But there are few teams that have been more eager for this season than Kahoma. The Bulldogs once again held their first practice on midnight, the very moment they were allowed to take the field, and they will once again look to be a force within their district. The Bulldogs will have some large shoes to fill coming off a nine-win season. All five members of Kahoma's offensive line received some type of all-district recognition, but four of them are now gone. But don't expect that to change the team's approach. That's the deal is there's a lot of um, skeptical people out there thinking that, you know, just because we graduated so many people that um, we're not going to be the same football team. I mean, we, we hang our hat on being physical. Um, we try to be physical at all levels so that they're ready to step in whenever it's time. Another key departure, quarterback Zach Schneider. He accounted for more than 6,500 yards and 81 touchdowns over his illustrious career. All-district running back Bryson Kirby will take over as the dog's main offensive weapon. I mean, we had a talk with Coach. I mean, we have a bunch of people stepping up, um, getting ready to take their place, and I feel like we can do it. And uh, me personally, I um, just work on anything that I can to help the team. He's going to be a three-year starter this year, and so he needs to step up like he's a three-year starter, and he's probably worked the hardest of, you know, of a lot of them throughout the, the off season, and he's bulked up a lot and, and kept his speed, so that's that's been the big thing. Kahoma also has some talent on the outside. All-district selection Sean Striegler led the team in receiving last year. He'll also be a leader within the team's secondary. I think we can do some some justice out there. I think um, I think we have a strong secondary and a strong uh, defensive line this year. I think uh, our defense will be pretty solid this year. Yes, sir.